Yeah. I mean, there are some longer races. I mean, there are some longer races on, like, SRS and stuff, but I just tend not to do that. I just can't. I mean, I guess I do with you guys, honestly. I probably could do, could do longer races, but for the most part, I just feel like I don't have the time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shh. I just got to drive through penalty. Oh, no. I, it moved. I revved and it moved. And I'm in the wall. <laughs> I uh, I just it just pulled right when I started. I saw somebody go right. <laughs> I thought I was taking it easy. I, I was incorrect. Yeah. I didn't spin it, accelerating away from there. What happened, man? I had to do the draw through. It's a hope. Oh, right. Why, how do, why is it not taking off the penalty? It didn't let me serve the penalty. You can't stop in your box. Oh. No. You have to actually drive through. I thought you had to stop in your box. No. Uh, crazy. That's what she said. Damn it, man. I just don't ever do it that much, obviously. I'm good with that. Uh-oh, debris on the track, full force yellow. I'm, I'm just waiting for them. <laughs> it's just an excuse. Just a Yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know all these little intricacies about a set of Corja, but I don't know how to do a pit stop. All right, guys, I'm, I, I'm right here. You guys can go. Thank you for the, uh, Three, two, the retard one, nerve. Five. I wonder what the 
that is. Is that like a safety thing or something? Oh, uh, I see it on yours, yeah. Oh man, I'm following you right there. I can show them how to pit now. <laughs> I wouldn't get ahead of myself, but... Nice posture. Thank you. Well, I definitely have plenty of fuel this time. 
11 liters by accident. Oh, and when I was, stop you when I was trying to yeah, when I was trying to serve the stop and go or drive through. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like a fat whale driving around, sloshing fuel all over the track. This thing hates to turn at slow speeds. At least mine does. I don't know about you guys. Yeah, it really needs its downforce. Yeah, those two turns just kill you. Paddle shifters. This has not been a good night for me. What? Yeah. I tried to catch a slide and I guess cable got caught. Oh no. Yeah. Remember I've got that wheel I made. I put some Asher paddle shifters on it. And I just ripped out the USB cord. Luckily, I'm on an H pattern, so I can still drive, but... <laughs> <laughs> it was, I mean, like, you'd have thought I broke a mirror earlier. Good God. I think it's a son of a bitch to solder to. I've got, I put those four pin aviation connectors on it. 
I don't know if you've ever seen them. But it's supposed to keep that from happening, but I think it just ripped the cord in half. That's that one I made. It's got like a little Arduino in the wheel and then it hooks up via USB. I was telling you guys, I was making it right when I kind of like joined the group. Um, It's just like a four cable den, basically. This like a, they call them aviation connectors, basically. If you go search on them, I've got a whole bunch of them, but God, it's just such a pain. Man. when it's liquid like that. This realism, man. That's the, like the, the latest uh, shaders mod. You can have real life flies flying around in your car.
which what's the screen name? Uh know the feeling. <laughs> I was going to say, he was hanging oh, with me. Nine, nine. Sorry, I was I should have gotten out of your way. Nah, it's all good. It's just uh hard to it really is hard to turn this thing slowly. It's weird. Like I I got into that turn of like, oh I I can't actually hold this line. Who was Adam said he really liked this car, right? Or was it you, Potter? Yeah, I think this was Adam's uh, suggestion. I don't know if he ever driven it or if it would just if it just looked cool. It sounded like he had. He was talking about how much downforce it had and stuff. Maybe we should try and race this another night when he's here just so he gets his go at it. Maybe a different track, though.
Definitely not Zolder. Supposed to go in tonight on this server or no? to be motivated when you start seven laps down. I gotta just hold me off for two minutes. back out of that because you just cannot hold that line there. <laughs> I was just like, nope, I don't want to take him out.
Yeah. Oh, that was an expensive night. <laughs> oh man. Ah uh, no, it's just yes. You're talking man, about it ripped the whole thing apart. Oh man. I mean, literally, like part of the connector ripped in half, ripped off. Yikes. Yep. I'll send you guys a picture of it. <laughs> oh, man. You know, you're talking about weird solder burns. Uh, when I was in college, my girlfriend was uh, to be an electrical engineer. She had this project one time to do for class. I had to, you know, take breadboard and components and make thing that does whatever. Like, so she was sitting up late at night soldering stuff leaned over the table and sneezed and her ha her hand that was holding the soldering iron jumped up and the very tip of the iron hit her right in the center of the forehead oh and it didn't have any solder on it or anything but she had this perfect little triangle burn right like tiny little thing right in the middle of her forehead i was like you're a wizard harriet like she did not think that was funny Dang, Jeff, was it something I said? Man. <laughs> so he was running 120.9. Yeah, he had a 120.9 best lap, but he was consistently like in the 121s, 122s. I had a heck of a time finding consistency in the second race. I was better off in the first one. You had a 119.85. Wow. Yeah. I, a, I, I was consistently in the 119s in the first race. By the end, second race, I was all over the place. I think I'm just getting tired. It, it's, been a, it's been a day. It's been a week today. <laughs> Good gosh. Oh. Kids are both doing school from home. And, uh, oh, yeah. I had to go meet with our estate lawyer about my mom's estate because that's not dealt with a year and a half later. Oh, man. No, I, I feel your pain. Trust me on the at-home school stuff. That's exactly the boat we're in. They're really excited about it. The kids really took to it, but it's just... It's a lot. And, my, you know, my daughter, we, we bought her one of those loft beds with a desk underneath. Yeah. So she's just kind of sit up in her bedroom with her own little home office kind of thing. She's like, I'm like, Daddy, I work from home now. I'm like, that's, that's kind of cool. But yeah, my wife is sitting with my son who's in first grade trying to do trying to learn first grade stuff remotely over a computer. But uh, the school district, I mean, they got 50,000 laptops into the hands of kids. Holy and cow. All the, all the teachers are trained up on how to do teaching remotely and they're just, they're just going all in on it and it's just it's amazing. And it all just worked. I'm like, whoever your IT crew is, they need a raise. Your teachers need a raise. Everybody, let's give these people more than a round of applause because they just pulled off the impossible. I mean, this is like a three-month turnaround, right? Yeah. I and agree. They just, they just turned a district with 50,000 kids into a remote learning facility. And it's like... That, you, you just don't do that. <laughs> it's, it's not supposed to be possible. And they just went and did it. So it's pretty great. Yes. They're doing all kinds. They have like a whole. Zoom, ours are using Zoom. And then we use, it's yeah. like Google, some kind of Google school platform. Yeah, they, they've got a whole they've got a whole platform of stuff that they've set up really since about February. They started trialing it when they thought they might shut down in the spring, but over the summer they've been putting it all together, and it's just it's amazing. 
It's a whole suite of stuff. Yeah, it's cool. But, um, both my kids are in elementary school, and they're just doing it like a virtual classroom. They all log into one big teleconference, and the teacher shows up, and she does lecture, you know, class kind of stuff. But the difference is, if they all break into a group activity, it might be go to this website and do this thing together yeah. or whatever. Do you stay on conference with them all day, or just kind of... Yeah, they, st they stay online for the whole... It's not the whole, like seven hour school day but there it's like eight to one thirty. wow yeah ours it, will do it amazing. they do like a meeting in the morning a meeting at 11 like a zoom call in the morning a zoom call at 11 and then like one at like i think one or two and then that's it and they're about 30 to 45 minutes each yeah the really so. the really cool part too is like because they kind of figured that it would be really hard to adjust for the kids and for the teachers, I guess, to uh, to adjust to this, what they did was they took all of the classrooms from last year and kept all the kids together this year. So all the classmates that you had last year in person are in your name class this year. So it yeah. it, it reduces that disorientation of. I think that's year. really hard, actually. Yeah, ours didn't do that. We're in Gwinnett County. We're like the leaders in the country on infection rates in Georgia here. Like literally on some of those charts they show when they do the press conferences, I was looking at them and it's like top five counties in the country and like Gwinnett County is up there on one of them. I'm like, oh great. Yikes. Oh man. So we just want to hold off on uh, figuring out what to do. I guess two weeks. Yeah. That's a great car. I mean, I'm fine with that. I mean, if we want to do... I mean, if we could run the same car, run a different track, I mean, or run the same track, I don't really care. Time to warm up the solder gun here. <laughs> so, Pasha, what part of the country are you in? I'm, I've probably asked that before, but... I'm in Virginia. Okay. Just, just north of Richmond. Okay. Yeah, we're just, Virginia is doing all the school stuff county by county, too, and the even the counties just around Richmond are all just doing radically different stuff. Like, yep. uh, Hanover to the north is just going back to school. They're just like, screw it, throw all the kids together and see what happens. Whereas yep. Enrico's like, uh, no. <laughs> no. So, we're yeah, we're doing all remote for the first nine weeks and then they're going to basically reevaluate after every quarter. And just keep going with remote as long as, uh, as long as it's still crazy. What grade are your kids in? Uh, fourth and first. Okay. I got one yeah. in first. I got I got a basically a 20-year-old in college, and then I got a, a six-year-old who's in first grade, and then I got a, we have a four-year-old as well. So. Wow. Yeah. Yep. We, got, we, we have the broad spectrum. Wow. Oh well, it happens. You know, I, it is interesting. I'd be I'd be curious to see a lot of the folks that are part of the community 
just kind of what their uh, what their age is, right? I mean, kind of what the average age is for sim racing. I've been amazed to find out how old some certain people are who have been like really good and con- consistent drivers. Yeah. Like, there's this one guy on SRS who's like that I had some really good battles with and occasion and usually came out behind him for a long time. And he's like, yeah, I'm yeah. 71. I'm like what? Really? Yeah. Wow. Dude's 71 years old and tearing it up on the racetrack. <laughs> that is awesome. It's a, I saw some thread going around where people had their ages on it. It was interesting. There was actually, it's like you say, Pasha, some of the folks were older than I would have expected, but then, honestly, there were a lot of people younger. I mean, yeah. there were a lot of, like, 17, 16-year-olds, which I think, I'm trying to think of what that thread was. It was for a set of Corza, and I was surprised that there were that many young people on it, actually. I wouldn't have, yeah. I mean, you know, it's like you think they'd be on the Xbox or whatever, you know, I mean... I just wouldn't think that this would be that appealing to them. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Well, all right, guys, I guess I'm going to jump off here and um, what do we got next week? Where are we at? Cool. Yeah, okay. Cool. All right, guys. I'll talk to you next week. All right. Cool. See you all later.